Okay, I just want to say I am very sorry. I didn't upload for like a freaking month. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. But you know what? I got a good excuse, so get off my balls and quit sucking on my dick. And that is that I'm a lazy bag of shit, and that's really it. I mean, it's summertime, so I've been slamming down some Coronas with some big booty Judy's at the beach, and I've been working like 24-7 if my boss is watching this suck my dick. You're fired. Oh, fuck! But besides all the mumbo jumbo, that doesn't matter, bro. Let's just get in today's video, which features another cheap-ass penny pinching mom who will go any lengths to save some bread. I mean, she's cheaper than welfare. She's cheaper than food stamps. She's cheaper than food coupons. Bye, bro, bitch. Bye, homie. And she has a kid. Like, why don't you slap a lock on that pussy? Because no baby wants to be born on this earth reusing diapers and picking food out of the trash can. Well, hell no. But anyways, just roll the freaking video. Oh, Chloe. What is that? Oh, look. <gasps> Kids leave toys all the time. If they're unclaimed, why not pick them up and take it home with you? Cause they're free. Yeah, let's just pick up everything off the ground because it's free and then give it to our fresh born baby with a weak ass immune system. <laughs> like who the hell knows where that toy has been? It could have been shoved up my ass. It could have been in some homeless dude's mouth. Some dude could have smoked meth out of that shit. I don't know. Like one day this mom is gonna pick something up off the ground and it's gonna either have salmonella, gonorrhea, malaria, or freaking diabetes. And that little kid is gonna be hospitalized and living on a prayer. But this mom will be like, oh well, at least she's getting free hospital food. That cuts our bill by 30%. But then again, you know what? It's not my kid, so I don't care. So go ahead, give that little bastard some malaria or gonorrhea or whatever the fuck. It's none of my business. Fuck them kids, bitch! When we first had Chloe, I noticed her being frug more frugal than she normally <laughs> normally was. Suddenly I stopped producing breast milk, so now I collect breast milk for my friends. What the fuck? What the fuck? How does that conversation even pop up? Like, hey Sally, my tits are actually pretty saggy. They ain't working anymore. Can I get some milk out of your titties? Like, that's a real conversation. <laughs> Like, what the hell? I just get anxiety by just walking into a grocery store. Oh, shit! And this girl's just out here wild and asking all her friends for some titty milk. Like, why don't you walk your ass down to the supermarket and just buy some baby formula instead of milking your friend's tits for everything they got? Give me my goddamn milk! Ah! And bro, how the fuck? Fuck, does a girl's tits even have milk? Cause I have sucked some titties in my day and I ain't get no 2% milk out of them bitches. Shit, I ain't get no milk at all. He needs some milk. <laughs> like just randomly they just be getting milk and shit. What the fuck? Amy is from my yoga class. Uh, Jessica is actually one of my coworkers. Chloe prefers Jessica's milk over anyone else's breast milk. I mean, this is her fave. She'll drink the others, but this is more her preference. Okay, that kid is gonna grow up to be the first wine connoisseur of breast milk. Like, ooh, this is a little bit too salty. I do not like. Like, nah, that kid is gonna drink any kind of milk you give it. It's not like Jessica over here got some strawberry milk coming out her titties, and Laquisha over here got some chocolate milk coming out her titties. I'm pretty sure sure it's all the same. But then again, I wouldn't know because I haven't had titty milk since I was like two years old or some shit. Having a baby made me more obsessed with saving money. People buy baby wipes, moist towelettes, but instead I like to make them at home. Oh, you have moist towelettes? Oh my god, this chick is dumb as fuck! Dumbass motherfucker. This girl got 50 ingredients on the table to make a $2 product. Like that's $3, that's $2, that's $4, that's $6, and that's $3.25 on sale. Like you ain't saving shit. Just buy the moist towelettes for like $2. Are you? Dumb. But you know what? At least she's trying to make an effort to save money. Like, I could really use this girl as a mentor in my life. Because I'm going to be 12 grand in debt if I keep spending my money on pizza pops and Happy Meals and Pornhub Premium. What? Uh, <laughs> Just joking about the last one. No one spends money on porn, but you get what I mean. A changing table is one of the most expensive things that a new mom has to buy. So instead of spending $200 on a changing table, I got mine for free at 
a gas station that was going out of business. When you're having a kid, I'm pretty sure everything is supposed to be sanitary and clean. Because if it's not, the baby's going to get sick and it will die. And out of all the places you could have went to get something sanitary and clean, you went to a gas station. Hey, that's a bullshit. <laughs> You know how many homeless bums probably snorted crack off that thing or had sex on that thing or ate ass on that thing? I mean, it's a gas station bathroom. People piss all over the walls for fun. And you really want to change your kid on that. Bruh. You stupid. God, man. I thought it's kind of weird. Things from the gas station aren't clean. People use changing tables all the time, so why not use this one? <laughs> well, I don't know, maybe because gas station bathrooms are pretty notorious for having poor hygiene. But I guess if the girl doesn't get bubonic plague or an influenza virus, then I'm pretty sure everything should be a-okay. Nah. Dude, seriously, honestly, no, no, dude, like literally, no, like metaphorically, no. But anyways, that is gonna be the video. Remember, if you're a cheap ass, just put a condom on, cause no baby want no cheap ass parent. Let me tell you that, babies are bougie. My bitch is bad and bougie, bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Subscribe down below and peace the hello, baby, 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 baby. baby. Oh.